Live from Chicago's NBC5, this is NBC5 News at 11 a.m. I thank the Lord for my safe return and the safe return of my dear children. I appreciate everyone's cards, prayers, and support. A Wisconsin mom is beaten, stuffed in a garbage can, then locked inside a storage facility to die. But this morning, she is alive and talking publicly for the first time. Doctors say it is a miracle that she is alive. Good morning, I'm Art Norman. And I'm Zoraida Sambal. And Terry Dendusa Nikolai survived a terrifying ordeal that ended in North Suburban Wheeling. NBC 5's Kim Vadis joins us from a Park Ridge hospital where she's recovering this morning. Kim? Well, Terry Dendusa Nikolai really was very courageous in reading from a prepared statement. She and her husband barely made a reference to the miscarriage they suffered as a result of this tragedy and instead chose to speak positively about the future. In fact, today they shared it is their four-month wedding anniversary. On Saturday morning, January 31st, a nightmare started. Through the many cold, dark hours that followed, I clung to my faith and gathered my strength. They are the I first think. words spoken publicly as Terry Jendusa Nikolai is wheeled from her hospital bed and still visibly bearing the scars of a near-fatal beating. Even though there are still physical and emotional wounds, my family and I are on the path to healing. She looks so good that you doubt that uh, what kind of condition she was in, but then literally her face was about three, three, three times of her size of her head now. Just a week and a half ago, she was beaten with a bat and left for dead in a storage locker rented by her ex-husband, David Larson. This after being kidnapped with her two children. The children were unharmed, but after the beating, Nikolai was stuffed in a garbage bin. It was 21 hours later before her rescue. At times when I was losing consciousness, I felt I was at peace because I knew I would be going to heaven, but I realized I had to stay awake. Dying was not an option because my girls need me. I know that Terry will be running around with the kids soon, and one day <clears throat> we look forward to expanding our family. Terry has a wonderful spirit and she will recover. Doctors say she may suffer some permanent damage due to frostbite to her hands and especially her feet. Now Nikolai wants to use her story of survival to fight domestic violence. Domestic abuse is a growing problem and it is my desire to use this experience as a platform for some change. After going through this ordeal, I have realized I am stronger than I thought I was. Now, Nikolai has asked that if anyone has been touched by their story, that they make a donation to a women's shelter in Terry's name. Larson is being held by federal authorities on kidnapping and domestic violence charges. As for Nikolai's recovery, she will be back into surgery on Friday. Doctors say at risk is the tissue around her toes. We're live here at Lutheran General in Park Ridge. Kim Vadis, NBC5 News. Remarkable woman. Thank you, Kim.